two uploads in a row? What is this, like 2020 or something? Speaking of uploads, we will upload a video telling you exactly which mods to use and not to use so you don't get banned two to three weeks from now whenever we know about it. So make sure you get subscribed to not miss that video since that's sorta important. Anyhow, in true 2019 fashion, the admins decided to release a post asking for feedback on a new balance thread and, well, I'm giving my feedback in the form of a video and also to inform you guys of what's coming soon. Bear in mind this update is not out right now and things can change. So make sure you guys give your feedback to the admins on the forums. Anyhow, there's a couple big changes to bosses, dungeons and items and I'll start with the items because it's on top of the forums post. The first changes come to archers, with the bone marines getting a slight nerf. I don't know why people are overreacting to this, because it's barely a 16% damage reduction, which still makes it the best archer weapon and is still super useful against Necron. Chill out, okay? Other archer weapons from across the stages of the game have had some smaller buffs, and the last breath bow now scales with the enemy's defense, so it's actually really useful to have one in a lot of situations where the enemies can actually take damage from bows. All the wither swords have been buffed, with the exception of the Hyperion, which had a slight intelligence nerf and a butt fix reducing its damage. Wither Impact's ability will be reduced from 10 blocks to 6 blocks, which means it won't replace the aspect of the end anymore, but also means things have a chance to hit you in dungeons. This one change has upset a lot of people who are annoyed their sword isn't completely overpowered anymore. <laughs> I say try about it, because it's also the reason I managed to buy a nearly maxed out Valkyrie for only 330 million coins. Sorry Thea Loz. Also, no, for real now, Hyperion is overpowered after all, and I'm pretty sure everyone here knew that, right? The Midas staff now scales entirely based on how much you bought it for, so it has no base damage, severely nerfing the weapon for early game players. The Wither? Dark and Shadow Doggles have been changed to be additive instead of multiplicative, meaning they add 50-70% to 70 to your weapon's initial ability damage instead of your damage at the end of all the other multipliers, which is a very big nerf to magic damage in dungeons too. I personally liked these changes, because mages were getting way too out of hand, but one look on the forums shows a bunch of crying mages, which is pretty funny to read. Couple items have a rarity increase, and the tarantula helmet cap is huge. The tarantula helmet used to be the best helmet in the game pretty much, and would be better than a golden netron head. This new cap should make its effectiveness outside of dungeons exactly the same, but should stop it from completely dominating inside dungeons. The Skeleton Pet 3rd ability now activates 3 times faster, although doing half as much damage, which makes it overall stronger. Makes it better at defending its master. That's some weird wording, but okay. The Tiger Pet's ferocity buff has been halved, which indirectly nerfs the Valkyrie and Werewolf armor too, as that's where all the items really shined. The Valkyrie nerf here is huge, and it should probably have some extra buff to ferocity to make up for it. At least the pet gets some free extra ferocity on its own. The Lion Pet now has a more well-rounded skill set beyond just doing first hits. Sure, pretty cool, nobody cares. The next big change is to bosses. This whole wall of text is kinda complicated, so I'll just simplify it for you. Every hit you deal above 0.4% of a boss's maximum health is heavily reduced, and no matter how much damage you do, you will never do more than 1% of a boss's maximum health in a single damage hit. This gives new players a better chance, and placing in fights against the sweats and should even the playing field a lot. This only applies to non-dungeon and non-slayer bosses, by the way, so don't freak out. Dungeons have had basically a big overhaul for newer players. 
Floors now have Catacombs level requirements, meaning you need to beat each floor a few times to progress, which finally means dungeon carries are gone, and dungeon's gear now fits slightly more in place with progression, all matching the floor requirement now. We might need to update our guides for this. Dungeon boss drops still only have a floor requirement, so no changes if you already own the item. But new players can no longer totally skip the dungeons and actually have to play them now. Alongside these changes, normal items have had their requirements and conversions costs heavily reduced, with all dragon armors and the best normal weapons usable around floor 5. Other weaker items and armor sets are usable around floors 1 to 4 and have their costs reduced to be very fair to that stage, and this overall reduces the difficulty of dungeons and makes them a lot more accessible to players of all levels. No items will need a level higher than 25 to convert. Jayaverman also includes a note saying that repeatedly beating a floor will increase the XP you gain from that floor by 2% each time, to a maximum of 100% or 150% depending on the floor, so grind is almost twice as short as it was before. This is good. Finally, a couple basic changes and butt fixes. Lifesteal and Siphon enchants have been drastically changed. They now heal a percentage of your maximum health per hit. This is huge, as Lifesteal is no longer tied to the damage that you deal. Before, dealing 200,000 damage like I do would heal you for 800 health, which is actually 75% of my health without armor. Now, the absolute most this will ever heal regardless of your health is 2% of your maximum health, or 23 damage in my case. This change is a massive nerf, and means you can no longer rely on lifesteal for healing. You will have to do other things like power orbs to regen. Another change is that ferocity hits will no longer trigger lifesteal enchants, which is another sad nerf to the Valkyrie. Armor swapping for mana to get mana over the maximum amount will be removed. The Wither Cloak Sword no longer deals damage, meaning you cannot AFK with it anymore. Wither Mancer's Trolls will be deleted after 10 seconds of existing, which means you will no longer instantly die in phase 2 of the Necron fight. The Rabbit Hat Glitch will not work in the Necron fight anymore. The Lesser Orb of Healing will finally work in dungeons after about 6 months of it not. Bunch of AFK method fixing, Mithril powder fixes, Spirit Mask ability will work in dungeons after about 6 months of it not, Fell Sword will be fixed after about 7 months of it not, Entrance no longer has class milestones, and the Spirit Pet no longer needs to replace your active pet to work. Overall, mostly positive changes that I support. Make sure you guys head over to the forum post which I linked in the description to give your feedback to the admins and help change things you don't like in the game. That's all I have to say for today. See ya, have a nice day.